everybody. Today we're having a look at this month's Humble Choice brought to you by Humble Bundle. Though from now on, it's all different. I will quote, Our focus is to bring maximum bang for your buck through an expertly curated mix of awesome games. The exact number of games might vary each month. Our mission is to always bring you a ton of value that's well worth the price of admission. Which begs the question, what have you been doing up until now, Humble Bundle? Jokes aside, this is them listening to the Humble community, which is appreciated. Yet I'll see it before I believe it. If you don't know how the Humble is bundled, then check out the link in the description below. As always, I'll give you my first impressions of all the games included, so you can decide if it's something you want to play. This month there are 9 games all included in this video. Actually, there are only 8 games and 1 DLC. See what you did there, Humble Bundle. But are these games worth our time well let's find out this unsponsored bit of content is brought to you by rubik's cube like subscribe and join the cubicle and let's go oh yeah oh the feeling of progression there's nothing like it right rpg elements mm, am i right mm. This is Just Die Already, Old People Man Sandbox. It's somewhat of a simulation game where we are old people and we're trying to retire. That's pretty much it. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, but did we expect anything else from the creators of Goat Simulator? What the hell is this? Can you, can you not? Could you not? I just want to get into a good retirement home, that's all. That's my only mission right now. We are lucky, I love it. The name is amazing, the colors are great, those facial features. Clearly somebody who has been taking great care of themselves. Whoa. Ragdoll, respawn, taunt. And other than that, normal game controls. What the hell? I can hit things. Oh god. I dropped. I grabbed some. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost my arm. Excuse me? What just happened? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. I am on fire. This ripped my arm in fire. And how do I stop the firing? Stop it. What is happening? All right. We need a golden key. There's death all around. There's a bear trap in the closet. It's a little annoying. I don't don't have my arm anymore i can only use one arm wait why is there a crab in the fridge wait we have our arm back what the hell happened wait i'm holding her old arm with her new arm this is a very confusing situation yes the golden key what the hell that cannot be positive there are way too many fish in here oh my god oh my god oh my are you okay grandma oh you lost your other arm that's okay they grow back apparently so we're fine let me out let me out of here crazy people oh my lord Excuse me? Don't disturb the party. They really just yeet themselves out of existence. Oh, God. Okay, well, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but it's what's happening. Hello. Okay, we're gonna taunt them. Taunt them how? With my axe? Now they don't explode anymore? Can I destroy this? Oh, no. Your birthday cake. I'm so sorry, man. You stop that ruckus right this instant. I am super sorry. Except for the not being sorry whatsoever part. Did you just yeet me? Wait, are you giving me the finger? Excuse me. Wow, this is the worst person in the world. No, not the door. The axe. The axe. What are you doing? Grab it. This is something else. Toaster. Again, this is something. Ow. What happened? What is happening with my body? What the hell is happening with my body? Can I pick up my own head? <laughs> It's just, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Oh, I can just respawn with one press of a button. I've been walking around like a zombie corpse for nothing. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. The, the, frick me. You're okay, Grandma. Just stand back up. Wait, what the hell are you? What is happening in this game? What? Ow. Glass. So much glass. Grandma, put some clothes on. You're so naked. So naked. This is not okay. Thanks, Grandma. That's a lot better. There's a car floating outside too. This is very normal. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. What the hell? Bees. Why are there... Why? What the hell for type of bees are these? What? Oh, we're out. Finally. Jesus. Slow-mo action. What the hell? These physics are ridiculous. Wow. Bucket list. The world is huge and beautiful. Look, we're also in Asia, apparently, or some kind of Asian town. What the hell is happening with all the text on the sides? You unlocked a lot of stuff, apparently. This is your bucket list. Yes, we did it. And we got a ticket, GDA. So it's just an open world where we have to try and do all these ridiculous things. Let me just bring you with me, man. I like your drumming. This world is so silly. Can we use this thing? Yes! What the hell? What do you mean? What do you mean? I got an explosion in my face. What the hell? Oh, fine. I don't want. I don't want to drive this thing anymore. Anyway, these cars are so dangerous. They just go. Pressure car with a steamroller. Sure, that's literally what I did. I did something positive. Apparently, trying to get into this thing. I'm inside of the thing now, and I died. Life goal completed. Yes, I did it. It's funny. So next to that book, there is no other incentive to do anything. Really, what the hell is that for? Glitch fest. Are you okay, my friend? I love it. Absolutely love it. Stunningly love this. Bees. No, not bees. Oh, hey, man. Just 
just wanted to chill with you for a second. You're just lying here? Well, thanks for the death, I guess. I love how you respawn from a trash can as well. It's ridiculous. Ooh, a ticket. So apparently we can find vending machines and there we can buy stuff, which is something that is cool or something. Vending machines. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Bam, B grenade. Oh, random people. Bam, B grenade against your face. It didn't do anything. Oh my God, bees in my own face. No, no, go after this woman instead. This one that's right over here or the one that I sent you after anyway, you know, the and they're gone. There's a PvP mode and you can play it cooperatively. And I do think you should play this with friends. I recommend bringing some friends and leave your sanity at the door, will ya? <laughs> Jesus. It does feel a bit empty though. The activities and everything I have to do. This book seems to really be the only thing that drives you forward. It's a silly sandbox game with old people mayhem. It is as advertised. Old timer. This is Borderlands 3, the fourth installment of this huge franchise. A first person action RPG where you choose one of the classes, blasting your way through enemies, getting all the loot and finding so many weapons, so many weapons. Borderlands is known for having so many weapons. There are too many weapons. Happens. This adventure sports four new Vault Hunters for us to play with. So we're gonna choose one and see if these iconic cell shaded graphics look even better. Claptrap, you are one of the most annoying people in gaming. Story time. Oh, oh we're looking for a vault, I'm assuming again. Wow, we can choose. There we go. Siren, Beastmaster, Operative, and a Gunner. Let's be the Beastmaster. It's just this giant person guy, man, right? Aren't you the storyteller, man? I think I've heard your voice before. Excuse me. Me? Could you not? So that's still the same. People talking to you in your mind and appearing. Bye. Thank you. Oh no. You are allowed to call me flat. Whoa. We have a voice and it sounds intense and awesome and I like it. Propaganda center does not sound positive. Claptrap. Normal game controls. Always nice. Children of the vault. Give your flesh. Take your guns. See being stealthy and I just walked up to the thing like a idiot what are you doing if you hadn't noticed yet that robot is really annoying yeah borderlands has a very distinct type of humor Ooh, gun first gun there we go different firing modes zip rockets and pistol that's nice can you shut up why are you talking to them like this claptrap wow wait it actually worked wow these people are really stupid finally we can do something you okay claptrap Heal your wounds? How do I heal my wounds? Don't just scream at me that I have to heal my wounds. How do I heal? I cannot hear what you're saying. You're screaming at me repeatedly. I am not your recruit. I did electrify myself, so there is that. Does he ever shut up? I know the answer. It's no. Yes, but you are also somebody who is apparently in my head. So none of this is okay, is it now, woman? This is very useful. You can immediately see the stats of the weapon you're equipping. That's really nice, actually. Nice. So yeah, the second chance thing is also still the same. Which has always been really good. Oh my god, grenades. Excuse me. Oh wow. How is this not more deadly? All right, never mind. A shield. I need a shield, huh? Or a bunch of bullets also okay? Do you have a shield for in- No. Hello? This location is huge, as always. Um, inside here? Shield, maybe? Wow, this is weird. Um, I can't go inside here. Then why is this open? This looks really weird. All right. Special red chest with shield. Where? Whoa, that's a cool chest. Inventory. Map situation as well. Backpack. This is what we needed. Wow, look at that. New weapon. Still no red chest, though. Yo, clap trap. What red chest, my friend? Red chest. I feel like a red chest should be painfully obvious for everybody to see. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. It's on the map. Am I just the, just the biggest idiot? Also, this chest is not red, you freaking annoying robot. It looks really good. I'm very much enjoying the graphics. I'm gonna my blade on your side. But everything else feels like more Borderlands. There seems to be some environmental stuff that we're able to do with electricity and fire. And wow, this guy is not, not happy with our existence. You don't mind. I'm just gonna run away from you for a second. Can we like electrify him somehow by shooting this thing if he walks past it or something? Like that. Wow, like that. Yes, like that. Could you not, you giant buffoon man? Yeah, you come this way. You come this way. There we go. There we go. Nothing you can do man level two bam that's what we need bam we did a level up skills multiple action skills several pets it's really weird that there's absolutely no sound with this but no skill points how is that possible didn't i level up wow there's so much more wow wait a second what the hell i've got a little monkey with me now are you here with me <gasps> look at you my pet don't know what that means but yes this is awesome revive ally can i kill him instead what the hell? Oh, that's not positive. Claptrap, what the hell, my friend? Are you the woman from my dreams? She isn't, but also is. 
clean it. Oh. Can I do some of my specials? Wow. Special bird specials. Wow. That excluded them. There you go. Take some of my birds. Thank you. Bye. It's not an open world per se. It's kind of a semi open world with big maps that you can traverse between. Damn. Get, take some of my birds of death. I've got birds of death. Nothing you can do. What the hell are you? None of you, please. You not. Throw things in my face like that. I gotta reload. Stop shooting at me for five seconds. Jesus. I love how our pet also just has a gun for some reason somehow, right? Yeah, it's more Borderlands. It looks the same. It plays the same. It probably has a cool, ridiculous story like the previous games did as well well you're gonna be vehicles you can be driving in there are gonna be so many weapons and you can play all of this with your friends as well which makes this a fun experience and is my recommended way to play play this with friends i've played the previous borderlands games with friends as well and it's a blast you like borderlands more borderlands what's there not to like unless you don't like borderlands i guess cutting time this is calico a casual simulation game which describes itself as a day in the life community sim for the people who also play board games this game has nothing to do with the board game which is also called calico the graphics by the way are already very very weird what's up with these floating cats and dogs and they're floating through everything as well it's very weird robux cube is my name oh my god i can't believe i'm starting my new life tomorrow uh, i have to pick something to wear <gasps> character creation this is all terrifying oh yeah this makes it more terrifying it just makes it worse um people should not give me this power ah we can choose clothes and stuff a monocle of course that is something you would have a beard of course of course. Beautiful character. There we go. I feel like this is a real human being you would come across all the time. Wow. Man, I'm not sure what I think of this graphical style. It's very intense. What kind of bird person is that? Okay. Bird people. Okay. Where are we? Oh my god. Is that our cat cafe? Calico. Oh my gosh. Hello. Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this little village. We are so excited to have you here. Hope you settle in. Oh wow. Oh, we're in. Okay. Hold to pet. Um... Hold to pet. He did not like to pet. You don't like to be petted? Talk to Mary Kiva. I thought we just talked with her. Yo. Hey, friendo. Did you check out the place? I love the layout and the shapes and all this jazz and the food and all the... <gasps> Minimalistic dialogue options. Wow, yes. Uh, rad. Wait, did we just get stuffs? Put furniture in cafe. I think we did. We did get stuffs. How do I... Inventory. Furniture. Rad. Oh, yes. We have our rad table. Here, people want to be close to the food of the cats, right? I mean, they're here for cat or dogs or floofers or whatever, right? That's what people do at cat cafes. Cat cafeing. I have another chair. It's it's quite annoying that it doesn't automatically do that, but that's okay. A couch. None of this is nice. My layouting is horrible. I I chose a horrible layout for for anything. Well, cool. This is rather not recipes. Hello. I have to talk to the mayor again. Let's go. Wow, we can jump and everything. Jump us. Animals. Yes. Let's fill it up with floof. Animal journal. Is this like a gotta catch them all kind of thing? Gotta catch all floof. Floof them on. Pick you up. Wow. Uh, use the animal command. Go to the cafe, cat. Now go forth and... Excuse me. Wait. Can I play with the cat? Wait. Can I drop this cat. <gasps> Never mind. I've got it on my head. I am happy. Calico is on my head now. We need furniture, we need floofers, and we need food. Make food. I want to make these. Can I make these? Put the ingredients in the bowl. What? Why are we so tiny suddenly? Okay, we need... Wow, this cannot be okay. That's one. Flour. Package and all. That's okay. Sugar. We don't have to weigh this out. It's just all... Oh, wow. Stop yeeting it out of the stratosphere, woman. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you make yourself so tiny to make these things? I mean, this is like... Now you just make it hard labor for no reason. I made a total of one cookie in all that time. Hi. I'm so proud of you. You're a natural at what is happening in this game. Okay, so there is a little open world going on in this video. Village. I'm not really being swept up by this, but I do think that I am not necessarily the target audience. <laughs> right? Surprised. <laughs> what is happening there? All right. Weird graphical glitches. Love it. Why is everybody just standing out their front doors like this? Hi, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are so excited about the cat cafe reopening. It's where we first met. But you live next to each other, but you met there. Hey, Kados. Cuties. They just follow me everywhere now. <gasps> it's another one. Let's go. Run. Come on, Patches. Oh my god. I've got all these little animals following me. This is really cool. I like it with the little animals. Okay, let's get one thing straight. This music is already driving me crazy. 
absolutely absolutely crazy you sell furniture and you sell clothing i do feel like this whole town kind of revolves around our player everybody else seems to be very unhappy just standing around it's a pretty straightforward game and you can swim look at that it's a plus plus winnable win-win situation and you've got all these floofers following you into your cafe excuse me Excuse me? Why did somebody start singing? Oh, wow, we can make a whole upstairs area living space, I guess. Oh, and save and sleep. That's good. Oh, yes. Just the cutest factor of all of this. And the same song starting over again after saving. Man, this music. Um, All of this just very, very, very cute. Is this the most amazing thing you will ever play? No. But is it cute? It is so cute. Oh, my cuteness. Weird. This is Everhood. It's a pixelated adventure game with musical battles. It describes itself as unconventional, which I get when I look at pictures and when I see all this, but it's also very trippy. It's very trippy. I'm very curious. I've never heard of this, but most of the time these little games do strike a chord with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why does the game start with that? I love being laughed at by creepy monster things. Obviously, it apparently sports a really good soundtrack because it's all musical bass and stuff. Wow, so bright. So yeah, good music is a thing. Um, I can do walking. Hello? Seems like the wooden doll has started walking. You're a frog, so I am missing an arm. Somebody just stole it. Oh my god, what's happening? So bright, so much brightness. I am blind once more. Move, 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 jump. Oh, is that what I have to do? I thought, okay. I thought I had to catch it or something. Oh my god. Ow, my face. I heal over time. My regeneration is rather high because I'm playing on normal difficulty. If you're playing on harder difficulty, ow. It would take a little longer. Ow, my face. Oh my lord. What the hell, frog? Ow, my face. Fa frog facing. Ow, frog. Could you not? This really requires some concentration, but I'm very much enjoying it. But also just because the music is really nice. Very chill. That was it. Okay, seems so you can handle yourself. Uh, okay, so the lamp is a little safe point. Okay. That's the guy who stole our arm. Also, apparently we're playing a wooden doll character. We probably are not allowed to go in. Are we going to fight with him? Or are we going to fight with the ATM machine? You must have schmuckles to enter. Schmuckles. 20 schmucks. Wow, it's so expensive. The automated terror machine. Yes, I want schmuck. I must insert my what? Soul, of course. Time to battle. Ramp up the music, DJ. We're gonna battle it up in here. Let's go. Wow, this is interesting, isn't it? No, don't hit me. I don't want to be hit by you. I don't want any of your discs. Any of your discs to fly in my face. Cause they hurt. They cut my face. I don't want your facial facing in my face. I don't want your cutters. In my face. Yeah, you take a breath, ADM machine. I've got more where that came from. I can jump all day, man. Let's do this. I'm just standing on one side hoping he will not hit this side with one of those unbreakable thingies that I cannot jump over. I don't want to die today. Please do not kill me, ADM machine. Why do you eat the money? Well, at least I can come in. What are you made of as well? <laughs> what is this world? You're out of stock. You don't have drinks. What is this place? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I accidentally bumped in. Two million schmuck drink? Why would you buy a drink that's so expensive it was also probably the last drink in the bar because apparently they were out um hoodlum hoodlum did you just call me up bring it on man bring it on with your brightness battle it up dj music do this man let's do this oh my god those ones i can't jump over i want none of those in my face please ow what am i doing stop the panicking i am panicking stop it with the panicking ow panic are you dead was that oh my god What's your issue man is this really necessary is this really necessary? This long as well. Is this really necessary, my man? I'm sorry I dropped your drink, my man. I am really sorry. I didn't know you were so incredibly attached to it. I also didn't know it cost you two million schmuckles. Are you okay? Yes! I did it! Ultimate concentration mode. Wow, that was intense. Oh, VIP ticket. That's what we need. This is a really, really weird pixelated world. And it does make me curious how this continues. And those battles are fun, but they're intense. I really have to concentrate like really hard for me to be able to do that and get it. Oh, there we go. It was a little puzzle. That's fun. That is a lot of fun. A little music-based puzzle. Yeah, this is solid. I like this. Some kind of really weird job at the hut kind of creature with a really weird wizard kind of 
of thing next to it. Mysterious, weird, but it's a lot of fun. But it demands your attention. Man, just want to find my arm, man. That's all. Oh my god. Lots of different styles of music as well, which is pretty cool. It's a whole adventure, and this game is going to throw some surprises at you, I think. Musical-based surprises. <laughs> next! This is Before We Leave. It's a relaxing city-building game where we build up our cities on planets on top of old civilizations, which seems super interesting. And then we can also go to different planets and then something something space whales. Space whales? Sometimes these relaxing city building games can be quite hectic. So let's see what this one has to offer. Wow, it's finally time. Your peeps have emerged from their underground shelter. Oh, hello. Oh, these are our peeps. Funny, very funny. Hello, Hannes. Uh, there we go. So we can make huts. And there's a little placement bonus. We have to construct roads as well. So a shelter produces food and water. We can make a well. Well, well, well. And a potato field. Potato fields. Make some there. What is all this? Check this stuff. Old civilization stuff, I would say. Wow, we can rotate. Okay. I need more potato fields. Potato fields. Woodcutter for wood. Standard stuff. Very standard stuff. We're going to relearn what our ancestors have lost or whatever by building a library and an explorer's hut. And then the explorer's hut will go out to these scrap piles or whatnot. Are they now exploring? Are you now explorinating? Green ancient technology. I wouldn't come close to that if I were you. I would think it's very radioactive. Ooh, we need a ship to explore the world. That sounds like something I want. Gotta make some tools. So let's make it. Then we can speed up time. That's very nice. So we can also mine. Whoa! Tech tree? What the hell? This is an intense tech tree. Wow, that keeps going for a while. Can we get some of this? Elevator, start with that. It's also interesting. So everything needs to be next to a road. I didn't necessarily think this through. Now we can make an elevator. There we go. This is not the smartest road placement, I have to say. But I mean, I didn't know everything needed to be roaded like this. Very city building like though, so I don't know why I'm so surprised. <laughs> Very curious how this will continue. Look at this. This is really wicked. But yeah, buildings do get bonuses and penalties for being on certain places. So I think that this one gets a little minus point for being next to this area. Because it's polluted. It's pollution. It's pollutionated. Housing. There we go. That seems like a better placement of things. And nice and economical with my space, right? It's very straightforward. Ooh, this building needs two tiles. All right. There we go. Let's build a warehouse. It's a very straightforward little city building game. But it has a cool tech tree going on. It it doesn't look very impressive, but I do like tech trees. It also gives you this feeling of progression, right? The music is very nice, though very random, I have to say. Interesting, the music also stops if you zoom out. Now it's all just ethereal and spacey, I would say. Wait, we can repair old buildings? Ruin generator? Yes, please, repair that. The concept is so funny with that old civilization going on. And up until now, I've been playing the game on full steam ahead mode exclusively. So otherwise, it just takes a really long time for an absolutely no reason, I feel like. Pirate Celtic South American type of music. It is a very weird blend of music. It's so weird. So up here you see the most important resources I would say is wood, tools and stone. And you see how many people you have in your little colony. Ooh, we can finally repair the old ship. Let's make a road to there. It's a very chill game but there's also just a lot of waiting. If you know what you're doing you can probably do things at the same time and grow faster but right now I'm doing a lot of waiting for circles to be filled with colors. <laughs> There we go. We have a ship. It's seaworthy. Let's go, ship. Let's go. Oh, wow. We found something. So the game has a bunch of different biomes for you to discover. Ooh. Ooh. We found Atlantis. But then the modern version, I think. We can colonize this place. Look. It's a full planet. It's all the planet. Oh, wow. And now we have a second island. And I'm assuming we can just do the same thing here, right? Establish a new village. Build an explorer hut. Build a library. Ooh, we discovered oil now too. Nice. That's useful. Ah, oh, we're going to get shipping. So we're probably going to be able to trade between our two islands. Here we go. Ship right and a port. There we go. Trade ship. It's all made. Bam. Here we go. And now we made a trade route. And now it's just going up and down, bring tools all the time. I would say it's a simple, straightforward little city building game. Game. But we haven't been up to space yet, so that's a promise that is still there somewhere hanging around. And something about space whales, which sounds super interesting. There we go, school. Oh, school is also two tiles. Written two tile buildings. Ah, and now we have to give people clothing, yeah. I can only imagine you will run out of space eventually, so you'll have to be smart with your spacing stuff. As always with these city building games, I feel like we barely scratched the surface of this game. But I feel like we got a good little taste of what this game has to offer. It's very chill, very relaxing. The 
music is somewhat random, but it has been on my wish list for a while, so I'm happy I got to try this. Special. This is Paradise Lost, a walking simulation game where we play a boy in a post-apocalyptic world discovering an abandoned Nazi bunker, and we're going to discover what the hell happened there, and also why are we a boy in this world? I am very intrigued. Walking simulators can be a bit of a hit or miss for me, but this setting already drew me in the moment I read post-apocalyptic abandoned Nazi bunker. Denial. Is that where we start with? Is this going to be one of those five stages of grief uh, situations? What is it again? Denial, something, something, and so, and so forth, and so on. Acceptance? It ends with acceptance, right? Or you just keep looping into denial. That's also possible. Normal game controls. Thanks, game. Why is this boy coming in here without preparation? All right, some preparation was taken. That's nice. What is it with Game Center? Who are you? Why are you? You have a light too. Okay, so flashbacks are going to tell us some of the story, at least the background of what's happening. Weirdly enough, there was a flashback of him being a baby. How does he remember that conversation with the mom so specifically? You were a baby, my friend. Excuse me? Some of the men are getting restless. Okay, it's 1960, huh? And these people are well stocked with lots of weapons, but nowhere to go and without transmissions of their mission. I'm assuming this is how we're going to get to know the story by finding pages and reading all about it, uncovering the mystery of what the hell is going on here. Can we run? No, of course not. It's a walking simulator. What am I even thinking? Jesus. Oh, wow. Stairs down. This is not creepy whatsoever. This does not give a lot of light, my friend. More down. That's just what I needed in my life. This kid is so brave so brave i would be terrified this is terrifying flashback i guess jesus crucis nothing just dropped something mom sorry dialogue options interesting and we have a voice we are voiced oh wow you're so close suddenly wow mom what the hell why are you getting so close what's going on the graphics look pretty nice though i have a lot of questions about the character models there whoa this place is huge Can we turn on a light somehow <gasps> Interesting, so I have to move my mouse here and then... Okay, alright, I did it now. This is something that happened. Oh my lord. What's happening? This place is huge. This is what I said. It's huge. Trains and stuff? What's going on here? Um, sure. That worked. Oh no. No. Oh no. It's a stop it with the alarming. Why are we getting all these sounds from the past? It's so weird. You know, it's a walking simulator, so you know there is no real danger at any point, but still, I'm just scared there's gonna be some kind of radioactive Nazi zombie popping up at any moment. Or another type of jump scare. Smooch that down. There we go. Oh, okay. We're going to discover some about our mom's past, I guess. I thought the boy was, like, looking for shelter or something, or, like, running away for something, but I absolutely have no clue why this boy is even here and why he chose to go in here with only a lighter and his life why would you do such a thing that seems to be terribly dangerous and also where's this mom does she not care anymore why are we here what is our purpose what's the purpose in life and such wow flashbacks the mom is probably dead right otherwise she would never let this kid be here oh my god creepy hello um scary it's a very interesting setting to do something like this in, in this bunker. But it's a walking simulator. It's pretty straightforward. And I don't want to spoil too much of this. If this post-apocalyptic Nazi bunker situation in the 1980s is something that draws you in, then go ahead and discover some of this world. It is really cool. Oh, there we go. We're going deeper and deeper. But what lies deep within this bunker and the secrets it holds that you'll have to discover for yourself. Wow, this is really cool. Weird. This is Black Book, a deck building adventure game based on Slavic mythology. Something you don't see a lot. It immediately has a very striking art style, which I like a lot. And it seems to be very story driven, where we fight off evil forces with our car base battling and whatnot it looks really interesting it might even have some rpg elements so she's going to become a witch out of love because the person she was going to marry killed himself and he was buried outside of the church property and thus he went to hell like why was he i've got questions instant questions cannot necessarily read that that is okay. It is 1879 though, so oh, he's dead. Of course he didn't sit at the table. If he would be sitting at the table, you would be more concerned than just standing here at his grave. Wait, point and click adventure stuff? 
point and clicking adventuring very point and click adventure i did not expect this at all look at that that's really cool yeah this style is really awesome i am much enjoying this let's go to this crossroads that's where we need to go right prologue initiation of a witch okay so we're going to make a little circle or whatever got the candles herbs got the herbs i'm going to take your knowledge and we're going to part what do you mean what's what's going on oh wow oh wow it's uh, magic uh, i'm scared read the spell and i shall speak good merchants Come and buy my cat. That is what you're gonna say? That's all you got to say. Of course, to become a witch, we have to fight this wolf cat thing. Thing of demons. Each battle consists of turns. Reduce the health to zero. All right, so it's all normal. Urazi. I'm going to use my Urazi word. And then next turn. Oh, so the cards I use are like magic spells from the black book. Pages you had the previous turn have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. So I can defend myself. Now I have a little shield of five. That's useful, I guess. So we can combine three cards or pages. It has to be whatever is at this top, right? And then we need to end on a key, which is these last ones, I guess. There you go. Eat some of this. Eat some of my Razi. Black Book helps you predict your enemy's attacks. Okay, so we know what he's doing. He's going to do one damage. Waste. Deals three each turn, ignoring... I like how when you select a card, it immediately tells you what the special word is next to it. It does make everything very clear. Let's see if we can kill it. Let's go. Farayelur. Sure shit. Ruda. Did it. Victory. Oh my god. What is that? No. Can you not open up the earth and fire and eyes of doom? It's the, I, the gates of hell. Of course. Awesome. It's normal super normal this is just a regular wednesday in my mind oh the first seal is open okay so we're going to open the seven seals of the book and that's going to be the whole thing i see how many demons i want to have for my service um as many as possible i just committed my first sin excuse me okay so i can become like an ultimate super evil witch or we can just become normal not evil witch i guess the number of sins affect your choices of replies as well as possible game endings there are multiple endings as well okay that's all really cool it feels like a very interesting combination of point and click adventure graphical novel kind of thing with that card battling i'm not really sold on that card battling yet on this screen you can change the page compositions of the black book there you go deck building but for that we need rubles aka money which you can see here on the left top this is also our sin counter and our health uh, and here we can open the seals and then we get more stuffs and quests knowledge <gasps> there you go rpg elements right there level 19 level 3 wow there you go there's also a map set off to the old riverbed because we want to go to the end of that line and then there's a storyteller once in a while just popping in and telling you some of the story or background or whatever it's really nice i like this atmosphere a lot i'm not sold on the gameplay yet check out my magic bam there you go and a new page we can choose a new page after the fight that's nice all enemies i like that give me that so demons at the mill, huh? Tell us all about it. What's going on here? Take the axe. Yes, please. Can I axe open the door and step inside? There we go. That's cool. So you can find items around as well to use in the environment. Here outside. Is it demons? Oh, suddenly there are demons everywhere. What the hell? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> He's like, hello. <laughs> What's that all about? 13th brother. Wow, you must have a hectic family life, my man. It's just that the gameplay is not very exciting. Other than that, it does draw me in. This whole mystery going on. The story is really, really cool. Like, it's presented in a really cool way. We did it! Oh, that was it. Last one. This is Per Aspera. It's a colony simulation and planetary city building game where we're going to terraform Mars and see if we can do better than all the previous attempts of colonizing Mars. I'm curious what they're going to throw at us and if through these hardships we can go to the stars. There's a campaign in a sandbox mode, so let's jump into a little bit of this campaign, shall we? Lila Bersins. Bersins? Bersins? Troy Baker? I know these voice acting people. Whoa. Tutorial time. So on the right of the screen, there are buildings for us to place. It's like this aluminium mine. So, whoa. Oh, and it has to be on this little deposit. That makes sense. There we go. Well, at least it rotates automatically, right? Oh, interesting. Oh, man. I immediately want to pan the camera, and I cannot. Amy, oh, I can. I can. Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? I am with you. Do you what copy? the hell? I am copying. Um, <gasps> dialogue options. Um, I want to chat with you. Affirmative, Houston. We are an AI. I am voice. intelligent. Artificially intelligent. Wait. Build a silicon mine and a glass kiln. 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 
Alone. Just has to be somewhere where it fits. In between silicon mine and the glass kiln. Can I just place it in the middle of everything? The view of Mars from up wow, here this is really interesting. Oh my god, we can speed up the game very speed ably. Speed ably. We need some power. Solar. Wow, solar farm time. All right. Um, solar farm and steel factory. Steel factory. They're telling me to make these things because tutorial, but I have no clue why we need these things and these resources yet. And I have the feeling it matters where you place what building and it, it connects in a certain way and that the connectivities are what you can streamline and that's where you can get really good at this game. All speculation. It's only speculation, guys. I only just started. I've been playing for like a little while. Let's speed time up because this thing forever. I need this. I need an iron mine. I don't have iron. No, I need Iron. What's this? Iron deposit. This is what I need. Iron deposits. Congratulations! You can now build worker factories and worker hubs. That sounds positive. Incoming call. Let's place my worker hub there. Hey, hey Houston. Houston. What's up? What do you want? It's already very interesting. There's also a bunch of different resources we have to manage. So we expanded the base a little bit. We got some mines and factories going on. So we now have aluminium, silicon, iron, carbon, and all that jazz. We now have an electronics factory and a parts factory up and running, which we need to get our little worker factory up and running as well. Uh, we definitely need more power. Operations. And maybe While another I one of these worker factory colonists. System. Colonists are coming! Same. Voice acting is really good. I am very much enjoying it. And I also just didn't expect that, did I? Just like that. There you go. That's a better spot for it, I would say. Beautiful! Music is also very nice. It's not very memorable, but it's very chill, sci-fi. I like it. It's nice. Okay, we have to build a spaceport and eventually a colony. So people are actually going to come to the planet. But it's very different. It does make me think of games like Surviving Mars or Off-World Trading Company that resource management game. It's really nice. I like both of those. We wow, we can zoom out Mars. super far. I copy. That is very yes. good. Thank you. I'm I also making a food factory in the meantime because they're Great. probably going to be hungry at like some point. So. Oh my god, we don't have enough power in the meantime as well. Oh my god. This is exciting. I'm getting excited. Anxious. I Now I'm getting excited and not anxious. Why? We are not on the same line, girl. How do we feel about this? Excited. That's what I'm saying. We are excited. Oh god, Dr. Foster, what do you want? It's having a moment. This AI is having some real tough time with existing right now. This looks really nice and the iconography is pretty clear. There's a lot of iconography though, so there is quite a lot to get used to. But they're very clear even from this distance, but I can only imagine it's gonna be really hectic once this is sprawling across the freaking planet. It's gonna be really cool though. I have the feeling that this AI thing is going to become really evil like really soon. This is gonna take really long before anything arrives. This is 16 times the speed and these people are still not here. This is taking really, really long. And in the meantime, we already made all the buildings. Freaking reflection. Ah, uh, funny. She is like scared that there are other things there. Wait, what was that? What was that? Excuse me. Is she getting paranoid? Are we getting paranoid? But yeah, she's like scared for competition of like other companies or stuff. Hey, there they are. Look at this. They've arrived. Colonists. Tech tree. Wow, that is some tech treeing. What's our wind farm doing? How long is this going to take? 0.4 per month. That's not a lot. I need to stay alert. I'm telling you, this woman is getting paranoid. This is just how it continues. You just keep expanding this. You keep going through this giant tech tree, which is very interesting. It takes very long, apparently. Oh, 9.9. .9. That's a lot better already. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this, but I can't show you guys everything this game has to offer. There's too much. It's always too much with these type of games. But I like it. It's Mars. It's sci-fi. And it's a very paranoid, conspiracy theory-filled AI woman. That's nice. <laughs> You've reached the end of this month's humble choice first look extravaganza. This is not a bad start. I've heard of almost all of these games, which feels better than some obscure randomness, I would say. And the value is pretty good. Now, I know you can pause it at any moment, but that just means that the value this month is so low, it's not even worth it. You're just skipping. So I'm curious if fewer games means fewer genres, and thus a narrower appeal per month. This month, I would say Borderlands 3 makes it a valuable package, but if cel-shaded first-person shooter-looter role-playing games are not your cup of tea, and you wanted Earl Grey instead, then you're Shit out of luck. What do you guys think of this new direction the Humble Bundle is going in? And what do you think of the games this month? Let's discuss in the comments down below. And of course, if you like what you saw here, please like, subscribe, and join the cubicle. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! If friends have it, I will jump into Borderlands 3. But Paradise Lost, that's the one I really, really want to try. But then there are just so many games I want to play. Oh my god, there's just so much to play! There's just so much to play!